concerned citizens of the United States of America. They are standing on the corner, on the sidewalk. Police officers are in force. They are ensuring the peace, we hope. We realize that Walmart has a lot of power, and we understand that in our, in our form of government, we have a right to protest for rights. This is Walmart Stores Incorporated. This is our trip to Bentonville, Arkansas. As I've said, I've been ignored from Walmart Stores Incorporated for over three years and seven months. After 31 letters, countless videos, after providing 34 pages of documented proof that I was never trained, I once thought that I was different, but as you can see and heard on my other videos, Walmart has ignored over a hundred people when he traveled to Bentonville, and as a result, he's seeking to meet with management. It apparently, but there are people who are in support. We were gravely disappointed, but there are also many citizens who are in favor of workers' rights in America. My wrong determination has only been intensified by what Walmart has done to other people. Walmart turned their backs on them, like Walmart has turned their backs on me. To all Walmart associates, if you want change in your places of work, working, if you want change in your place of employment, you will have to do it yourself. You will have to join other people. That is, if you expect to receive any change at all. I was over at store 899 here in Valdosta, Georgia, and a friend of mine was just talking to me. I got a phone call a couple of days ago that that individual was terminated and was told that he was talking to some union representative. And I understand that it was spread it throughout the store that there were union members on the premises. I am not a member of a union. The people that I know here in Valdosta is not members of a union. They're just concerned about the workers' rights and want to see a change. We are tired of being sick and tired of being ignored. We are tired of it. Why do we want it? No. And we Why need we change we as they are asking. Bentonville, Arkansas. They want respect. They were just seeking to meet with President Mike Duke or Chairman Glass or some member of the Board of Directors or somebody that will give a listening ear on behalf of workers who does not have an open door policy. I travel because I was wrongfully terminated over three years and seven months. I can't drive that home enough. I can't stress it enough. But I was gravely disappointed by what I saw in Bentonville. No. Walmart turned their back.
Bangladesh. This is not Cuba. This is in the United States of America. Black and white and retired and active duty military veterans, common everyday citizens, mothers and fathers and children, and friends of our Walmart who are friends of the American people. Only want Walmart to meet for better wages. They just wanted the basics of life. Uh, they don't want to work for nothing. They want to be rewarded for the work that they that they that they do every day for Walmart. But they already know it. They call for Mike Duke. Mike Duke never came. And I too have been calling for Mike Duke. I call for Mike Duke. And I also call for Macmillan, former president. I also call for Chairman Glass, the board of directors, and everybody on the board of directors. I call like these people call, but I have been ignored. And I continue to be ignored, and I continue to do what I do, because the American people deserve better. We are not. The American people are not in the Republic of China. And there is no need for the American people to have to march like this in 2011 just to get a voice. Just to get a voice. Just to have a voice. in a company that is the largest retail giant in the United States of America. the American people in 2011, not 1929. These are the voice of the American people. These are the voices of the American people. Walmart needs to listen, in my most humble opinion, and stop turning their backs this is on the American people. No need of that. What's your name, my beautiful sister? Sandy Carpenter. Oh, what you, why, why did you come down here to uh, uh, help home a bit of uh, the uh, uh, Walmart stores incorporated? Did you hear what she say? She said we're not going anywhere. Now you should know I'm not going anywhere. She's saying she's not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere either. Walmart must listen to their workers. And I believe the American people should be outraged that the citizens of America is treated like this. It just is all about retaliation. We will be the strong voice. Do you think this is intimidation, or do you think this is just more fire, a fuel to the fire to make us and you, you and group as well to uh, do more to to improve workers' rights at large, America's larger retail store? What, what do you think? I think that this organization is here to benefit the associates, but I think that Walmart not wanting to deal with us and bring the police out on us. Yes. We have did you notice bring the police out on us? This is Walmart. This is where your mother, your father, your sister, your brothers, your children, even your enemies spend their dollars. These people were not, we were not radicals, we were not terrorists, we were marching in the most famous tradition of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., Nobel Peace Prize winner. We were doing that. And they ignored us. Not one person came out to meet with us. Yeah. I think we need to change our direction. Seems like we have made Walmart a God beside God. And therefore the answers to no one. And it's making us see that if you stand together, they're scared of you. We got them scared right now. Right, okay. We only call the police when they're scared. Yeah. Okay, one other point, one last question. Do you think that your trip uh, down here was a success or 
do you think what do you think could have made it better or do you think it was the best in the world? Well, I think um this trip was pretty good. I, I think that the first one was better, but you I You came to the first trip as well? Yes I did. Oh my god, okay, beautiful. Because right. I was actually one of the first members of Walmart. Right, right. So she was one of the first members of Walmart. Our Walmart. I joined our Walmart because I wasn't getting any response from Walmart. Uh, Macmillan, uh, President Lee, President Mike Duke, Chairman Glass, and the Board of Directors, a 13 or 15 board member. I have heard not nothing from them. I, I asked them just little basic questions like, uh, is this your 30 page document with your name on it? Uh, was I given any training according to your own guidelines? And uh, who was assigned my trainer? Uh, uh, what date did they enter me in training? Since we required to initial off on, who initial off on my entry into the program? Who signed off on the, the training requirements? Uh, who signed the document at the end of the document? Uh, no, they can't. They, they wouldn't produce any of that uh, for me because they can't. They, they, they just terminated me under the heading of the inability to perform a job without training. And so, we the American people. I think that this trip was awesome because we got a lot of new associates to come down with us, current and former. And this time, you know, they weren't as willing to speak with us. So we know we're rubbing them the wrong way. Okay, one closing remark. Now, what store are you from? What number? I was from Laurel 1985. Thank you very much. KBCI.blogspot.com. George Boston Rams on YouTube, uh, Boston. On blog, blog, KBCI.blogspot.com. We are doing what we do to keep you informed. Here again, but that sign tells us that Walmart home office, not just a local Walmart. We came, our Walmart came to the headquarters because we want to get to the root of the problem that is plaguing the I workers at this facility. From Dallas, Bye -bye. Georgia, thousands of miles on a Delta flight and U.S. Express, and only to be turned away by Walmart uh, executives. I traveled 33,000 feet above earth, above any Walmart, and still they refused to meet with us. They treat us as if though we were citizens of oh, the They, they were calling for Mike Duke again, and, and, and this was on all the local newspapers uh, in Benton, Bentonville, uh, 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 Fayetteville, uh, Arkansas, and, and, and still uh, to my knowledge, I have heard uh, Walmart even give a, a response to uh, the, the gathering, uh, a peaceful demonstration, uh, and everything went peaceful, by the way. But listen to this sister as she uh, 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 addresses the invisible uh, Walmart. That is, that is one of the reasons why Walmart failed our down. She is asking to be heard. She is asking Mr. Duke to increase the wages. She's asking uh, Mike Duke to stop cutting people's hours so they will not be entitled to even receive any type of health care. We are standing up for Walmart associates who are too afraid, even here at Val Dawson, store 2715 and 899. The people here are so afraid when you tell them about an organization called Our Walmart, which is to help them. They freeze up because they fear for their job. They know what can happen to them. I'm going to meet with this young man who, uh, or young woman. I don't want to reveal too much because they may even come at who knows who else. At the, at the, at the, we, people are living in fear. And, and, and I tell you the truth, it, in my humble opinion, it Give your employees the respect that they deserve. All of these are They're asking for respect. Now, what's wrong? Mr. Duke want to be respected. Mr. Lee want to be respected. Mr. McMillan wants to be respected, and I'm sure the Waltons on the board of directors want to be, wants to be respected, and every member on that board wants respect. So why shouldn't the workers have respect? And even you and your home and your own children want respect as well. To succeed. Yes. Yes. Do you notice everything is 
not bad. We talk about not destroying Walmart. We talk about good things because Walmart is doing some good. Walmart is not all bad, but Walmart needs to get her act together on behalf of the good American people to show the people in China and around the world that we are a better nation and we are concerned about the citizens that live, that's living in the United States of America and perhaps China too. A month ago, forward, not backwards. Yes, hey, yes, we will right. be with you. Thank you for being here. We will be back when you come back. We're with you. Thank Thank you. you. We are the 99. We are the 99. You hear that? Oh, the voices are strong, and I don't think the voices are going anywhere, Mr. Duke, Mr. Board of Directors. You can turn your back on me. But these are the voices of the American people. These are the voices of people, of people around the United States of America, California, Washington, Texas, all around America. These are the voices. These are your customers, Mr. Duke. These are your customers. And these are your customers of children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Do you notice that strong police force? You may not be able to see it. All those uh, Walmart heavy security people, uh, the, the local police department, all there to keep us under control. I guess to keep me without an answer or reply from Walmart in terms of why they discriminated against me. Not because I'm black, I guess because I'm a Walmart associate. We are the 99%. 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 We are Yes, we've been working our way back to the bus. I tell you, that was a day to reckon with. And it's a shame how Walmart just ignored us. But I'm very confident that in the end, the people of America will win. I was so disappointed in this clip during this interview that I made a mistake and called Walmart store 2615 2715. I was so amazed and appalled by Walmart executives a refusal to meet with us until I forgot the number of the store. Isn't that something? Ah, Walmart, you can do better than that, Mr. Duke. It was open after three and a half years of being ignored by Walmart. I thought that they would at least listen to what we were saying today. And I'm greatly disappointed, but it did not get the What were you saying today? What was the message you wanted to deliver to the consumer? I wanted to deliver a message to them that we love Walmart. We don't dislike Walmart. We love Walmart so much until we're trying to save Walmart from itself. We trying to save Walmart from the presidents who undoubtedly, uh, undoubtedly want to align us with the people of the Republic of China. But we are the people and we have a voice. We stand for freedom, justice, and equality. So what I wanted to do, in short form, I wanted to bring all active duty military, all retired veterans such as myself, under one banner of freedom, respect, respect for the individual. I wanted to return them back to the very 
foundation of Mr. Sam Walton, and I hate to say it, but I was terribly, terribly disappointed today. Because he didn't come out. Absolutely. And, and, but then again, I guess, after three and a half years of being ignored, there's just a pattern in practice of something <laughs> that seems like we're going to have to come another day. But they will eventually be forced to reckon with our Walmart because our Walmart is the people of America. And without the people of America, Walmart would not exist. And when, China, when, when Walmart go over to China, Germany, or the foreign countries, they are nothing more than our ambassadors. And so when they go to represent us, they need to come right back here and understand that we are not going to let them uh, make the world think that all of us approve of what they're doing in the job market. And that's the way it is. And as you can see, and as you can see, Thank you. that's Thank the you. way it was. We tried to do our best to get, make our point with Walmart, but Walmart ignored us. Well, I'm going to close out here, but I want you all to know that this will not go away, Mr. Duke. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. And the 99% will sooner or later be heard.